Okay. Your bag is fine. Now I need you to get on the scale. What do you mean I have to get on the scale? How are we supposed to know what you weigh if you won't get on the scale? What, so you could charge me extra? What kind of airline do you think we are? We don't charge passengers for weight. Yet. Okay, whatever. Okay, you're all checked in. You may proceed to gate 37. Next. I'm with her, and here's my bag. Oh. Hey, be careful with that. That's my comic book collection. Well, your comic book collection weighs five pounds too much. That'll be $25. $25? No wonder the tickets were so cheap. Okay, $25. Now your turn on the scale. What? You want to weigh me too? Okay. That's a first. It's all muscle. Whatever it is, you can go to gate 37. Hi. I'm Karen Reynolds. I believe you're expecting me. Only if you have a ticket. Of course. I see you're in basic economy. Do you have any bags to check? Well, I have this one. Your bag is $35. Your purse is $25, so that will be $60. $60? Really? Do I have to pay that? No, not at all. You can leave your purse and bag here. Fine. You can have your $60. Good. 46 pounds. You barely made it. Now it's your turn. Weigh me? I can't believe this. Now what? Oh, just step on the scale right over there. Okay, 140 pounds. You're all set. 140 pounds? It should be 105. Yes, ma'am. I get that all day. You're free to go. Where's my ticket? Oh, you'll be assigned a seat at the gate. I can't believe this. Ticket. Here you go. Oh, I see you've paid for one bag. Here it is. Okay. Ooh, 32 pounds. Now it's your turn. I can't believe this. <gasps> Look, they're making them weigh in over there. Oh, this is really interesting. Do you think we should tell them we're reporters? No, it'll make for a better story if we don't tell them. Okay. As if traveling wasn't bad enough, now the airline is weighing passengers. Is it for their comfort or at their expense? All right, ladies, how is our new weigh-in policy going? I think we've needed to do this for a long time. It takes some getting used to. The passengers hate it. Well, it is important in order to maximize profits. Really? Why is that? It shouldn't matter what people weigh. Of course it matters. I don't know why they don't get it. It's for the same reason that we weigh the luggage. It's about time. But we charge people if their luggage weighs too much. <laughs> that's coming next if I get my way. Well, that's just wrong. Who comes up with this stuff? Not to toot my own horn, but I do. And if all goes well, I will be the next president of the airline. Well, just remember me at promotion time. Well, that ought to be interesting. Let's hope not. What is it with them weighing the passengers? It's bad enough they charge us for our bags. What are they going to do next? Charge us by the pound? Mom, where are we sitting? They're supposed to call our name and let us know. Passengers on Totally Airlines Flight 118 to New York, I am pleased to announce we are now open for seat assignments. Please come to the podium when the first initial of your last name is called. Last names A through E. Hi, we're Anderson and Charles. 
Okay, here you go. Last names F through L. Where are the Hudsons? Here you go, seats 5A and C. Here's your ticket, son. And finally, passengers M through Z. Hi, we're Reynolds and Morrison. Here you go, 5B and 6C. Oh, I got 6A, what did you get? I got 5B. Oh. Does that mean we're not sitting together? I guess not, but at least we'll be close. This is the worst airline ever. Oh look! Now what? Those people next to us have 5A and 5C. I guess you're gonna be seatmates. Are you kidding me? I have to sit in the middle? I guess that's the way it works. Oh, I don't think so. Excuse me, there seems to be a problem. What is it, ma'am? You have me sitting between two large people. That's right, you're lucky enough to be petite. That's how we do it here. Not petite enough to be taken advantage of. You can't do this, and I am not putting up with it. Well, ma'am, what do you expect me to do about it? I don't care, just don't put me next to extra large people. Well, would you prefer to have a whole row to yourself? That's so nice of you, I, I wouldn't mind it at all. Two extra seats? That'll be $456. $456, what for? Well, if you want three seats, you're going to have to pay for three seats. All right, I get it, this is a shakedown. Is there anything else you can do? Absolutely. We're a customer first airline. I could offer you a free neck pillow. Loner. Free neck pillow? You've got to be kidding me. You have to do something else. Well, in that case, why don't I offer you the first row? First row? That's more like it. Karen was unwilling to pay for more room. Will she be satisfied with the first row? You're so lucky to be in the first row. Yeah, I know. <laughs> They're in first row too. Karen, what are you doing in my seat? Oh, Maria, you can have my seat. No, remember, the airline has carefully planned out passenger distribution. <laughs> well, my dear friend, I suggest you take it up with the airline. <laughs> well, my friend, I will. Excuse me, I hate to bother you. How can I help you? I'm in row six. Well, I was, till my friend took my seat. Your friend? Why would she do that? Because she doesn't want to sit in the seat that she was assigned. Really? Well, I'll have to take care of that. Thank you very much. Excuse me, ma'am, you're in someone else's seat. Oh, it's okay, she's my friend. Well, your friend says she wants her seat back. Well, what do you expect me to do? You need to take your original seat or get off this plane. Fine, it's not like me to make trouble. <laughs> Excuse
Excuse me. <sighs> you two are in my row. Let me see your tickets. We don't have to show you our tickets. Yeah, mind your business, lady. We'll see about this. Yes, Mrs. Reynolds, how can I help you? These people do not have tickets. They are not supposed to be on this plane. Really? I hate to bother you, but can I see your tickets, please? Okay, sure. Well, here's mine. Um... I think I lost mine. Well, young man, if you don't have a ticket, we have a problem. <laughs>